Mr. Bill Poker Peeps. Welcome to the vlog. Short intro today, just two things and then we're gonna get right to the hands. Number one, thank you so much for the response to my first video back in a year. Very, very nice of you guys. Number two, I play at a club called The Hideaway. You guys know that. And there's another set of vloggers that play there. You know them. You love them. Next gen poker. Rosie, Frankie, Jello. Now, since we both played at the Hideaway, we've obviously played against each other. Uh, actually, I have played zero hands against Rosie, a few against Frankie. The vast majority of hands I played against Jello, and even those, I didn't play a whole lot of big ones. I have one really big one that's gonna be on this vlog. And I think Jello's beat me like four to five hands, but they were all small pots except for this one. So we are playing Big O, which is five card high only. Next Gen has already put this one on their vlog. Here's a link to it, so please check them out. Uh, I'm in middle position. I have Ace of Hearts, Nine of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, Six of Clubs, Nine of Spades. So I've got uh, Aces and Nines, and I'm double suited. Pretty darn good hand for Big O. So I make it $20. Jack calls from the small blind, and the big blind calls also. And we'll pick up the rest of the hand from the live video. We're off to a flop three ways, which comes king, ace, jack, rainbow. Great flop for us. We drill the nuts as well as have the diamond nut redraw. I checked the flop even though I have top set uh, because I don't have a straight and it's very possible they have straights. Jack bets $125. The other guy calls. Playing this hand against one of my next gen poker boys. I absolutely know they both have the king 10 for the straight, uh, but I've got top set, any pair, and I have the nuts. How much do you have left? About three? 280? I call. The turn being the 10 of hearts. Now I absolutely know if there was any doubt before that they, if they had the straight, they absolutely know they have it now. I check even though I picked up a whole bunch more outs. Uh, Jack pots it for what, 355? The other go goes all in for 410. He's all in. It's gonna be the whole stack. This is gonna be a giant hand. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know how I can pull. Will I run it more than once with multiple people or no? What's the big stack? Mm, 55, yeah, this one here. Yeah, what point is it? There's, there's just absolutely no way I can tell this hand. This is going to be giant. If I lose, I lose. There's no way I can. 410. 410 to call. You sure you don't want to go to the three and 55 into the middle. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. <laughs> nice ball. Don't beat the ball. Don't beat the ball. Hey, Kate, I need a consent. Oh my, I, I, I just oh my goodness. Look at this. Ah, Holy cow, look at this, all this money. Show me the money, baby. Does anybody have any money behind it? That's, that's it. That's it. That's a thousand. No, that's, 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 that's They both have strengths. No, And I'm hoping for some good fortune on the river. Oh my lord! Oh lord and mercy! Yes. Yeah. What a hand! What do you think about that, Rosie? I don't know. Man. What a hand! <laughs> you turn it off. Not yet. Jason, my favorite. That was unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Nice hand, Bill. We will hopefully get you next time, but in Hold'em maybe because we're simply just not bankrolled for this game. Jack mentions he's not bankrolled for playing these 
very swingy games, and I can understand that completely. How many college kids you know uh, that can play for a thousand or fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars per session? That's a lot of money when you're in your early twenties. So of course I'm happy that I won the pot. I wish it had been against somebody else other than Jack. Uh, Next Gen guys are great. Once again, please subscribe to them. Uh, buy the merch. <laughs> All right, on this hand, I have Ace of Spades, King of Spades in the plus one. I do something here that I don't do very often, which I'm going to uh, play this a little bit tricky, and I was gonna slow play this Ace King. So I simply call the first bet, and there ends up being five of us at $10. I would like this a lot better if it was Ace King unsuited than Ace King suited, so I don't think that was very good. So when I get a king high flop, I decide I'm going to check this. There's five people in the hand. Somebody's going to take a stab at it, and then I'm going to check this. Is it to me? Yes. I don't care if the math is one $10. And that plan works out pretty darn good. 35 Man, you're filming. This is going to be bad, too. I haven't done a video in a Until long, long time. Until the guy behind time. me in like the hijack well, makes it a hundred dollars. Let's make it a hundred. One hundred. Interesting. He's the tightest guy at the table. So after hemming and hawing a little bit, I decide to go ahead and make the fold. I never do get to see what he has, nobody else calls. But he was definitely the tightest guy, so I'm guessing maybe a set of twos. Uh, I have no problem with this fold at all. Well, in the style of next gen uh, bathroom update from the hideaway, here we go. Let's just say it has been brutal so far. Aces cracked for $200 all in pre flop from the other guy's effective stack. I flopped open ended two pair all night long, and I simply can't seem to win a hand. I won a few. So actually, I feel pretty fortunate. In for a thousand, and I have 600 in front of me. It's amazing I'm only down $400 after this. So let's run it back up. Let's win tonight. Here we go. So on this hand, we're playing uh, Pot Limit Omaha High Only. Oh. I think we're playing Pot Limit Omaha 8 uh, High and Low. <laughs> Oops. So on the flop of Ace 2 3, it checks around. The turn, a 10, I've got top two. Uh, might as well bet. I've still got to draw to the nuts on the bottom also. Not even remembering that it's not low. <laughs> the river comes a nine and then I announce this. Jeez, I got no low. Huh? I have no low. You didn't play, play low. I'm just playing high. Oh, jeez. I'm going to pull up here. <laughs> <laughs> so I got lucky to chop on this. Uh, this was a function of us almost always playing PLO8 or Congress, which are both high-low games. Then we played a game that was high only, and my brain did not make the recognition. Ooh, I was lucky that I didn't lose a bunch of money on that. All right, on this hand, there's a straddle $4. I have the stellar hand of queen five of spades. This is not recommended. This is a bad call to begin with. If I'm going to play it, I should be raising it. Uh, but I called not very good. The guys I'm playing with in this hand are all vlog watchers, so at least it makes for a fun hand. Yeah, so you get ultimate last. So it skips you and it comes back. Yeah, I messed up last hand. So now that actually stands, it's 11 here. Oh, sorry. That's okay. We are all screwed up. We are all screwed up, man. Many times on a paired board, the first one to bet wins, so at least if I'm going to play poorly pre-flop, at least I can at least try to take it down with the bet here, and that's what happened. You can watch it on the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> and I do like the comment from the guys who say you got to put this on the vlog. Okay. I'll do that right. again. So we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, plus 60 makes 1,010. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. 1,010 coming up. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700. 20, 40, 60, 88. 20, 40, 60, 89. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1,010. All right, thank you. Appreciate thank it. You, Bill. All right. All right, the hand against Jack was a big one. The other ones weren't quite so big, but I guarantee you these last uh, four or five hands are going to be big ones. All right, in this hand, I did not capture the pre flop action, but we're playing Congress, which is five card high low. Uh, there's a $10 button straddle. I'm under the gun. I raise it up to 40. The next guy, who's the short stack, goes all in for 130. Then there's a caller, another caller. I then pot it all in. Um, the other two guys call. So it ends up being all of my chips, $620, and then various other people have less than that. Uh, one guy has me covered, and then this is what happens. All right, we got, we got a four-way all-in pre-flop on Congress. Are we sweating it? They did not sweat it, so I don't know what anybody has when I see this boot. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> no, that is not good. Well, boom. Well, boom. Oh, yeah. He has. Give me a low and a high. Where do you have a low and a high? I got your high beat. You got your 19. I got your high beat. He got the aces here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Man, yeah. Well, I win it all? Yep. Man, I wish you didn't have that ace. He got the aces. Oh, my gosh. I scooped the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen. Give it to him! Give it to him! Well, That's boom. why you pop with they say say deuce. Yeah, perfectly. Woo! Well, yeah, baby. How do you how do you fade that? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my Look at this card. I can't fold it. Yeah, he had he. Had. Yeah, look at this. Not every day. That's you what I faded. Give it to him. Oh. Wow. Now, how the guy with 109943 calls an all in, <laughs> I don't understand. But if that's the way they're going to play, then I've got to pot it on something like this. Holy, I got it all. So that was very nice. About a $1,640 uh, Congress scoop all in pre flop. All right, pretty good night for me. Cashing out for $2,465. In for $750. That's not bad. $1,000. We're getting all denominations tonight. <laughs> That's right. 23. Uh-huh. 20, 40, 60, 81, 24, 20, 40, 65. Okay, looks great. All right. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome, buddy. All right, this next hand is played kind of unconventionally, but you got to understand the players. The straddler in the under the gun position is kind of a crazy woman. <laughs> she has a lot of chips and a lot of times she will raise or bet with absolutely nothing. I've seen her shove all in with a hand like 5-9 if she thinks she can get everybody to fold. So I'm going to try and slow play and get a lot of chips from her if she makes a mistake pre-flop. So there ends up being a few limpers, and then she obliges, and she makes it $54. So my intention pre-flop is to just call this, and then when she makes it a big bet, hopefully some other people call, and then I will raise it up large and take down a pot without much resistance. Two of the players make the call for $54, and then I don't know what happened. I didn't follow through on the plan. I decided to just call the bet I don't know if it's because the button, uh, who's a very, very good player, knows the same thing that I know and he might be slow playing, or whether her bet because she didn't bet really, really large means that maybe she actually was strong, but whatever it was, I didn't follow through. I just made the call. So when I get a flop of ace, jack, five, that's pretty darn good for me. I decide again, I'm going to check, and this time if she bets, I am going to raise it. Uh, unfortunately, she checks. And then it comes back around and everybody checks. 
The eight of spades turn. Okay, now I don't want to mess around anymore. So I bet 150 into uh, about 225. And she folds, comes around the button. He's a very good player. That's a good bet, Bill. He reluctantly folds, I got and I showed that I had a good hand. I knew he was gonna raise that, that's all. So I don't love the way that I played this because my intention was to take this down pre-flop and I didn't do it. Uh, it worked out okay, but still not ideal. All right, a few hands later, I looked down at two black aces, yay me. I have $690, and I bet $15. Our friend that's the crazy person <laughs> makes the call. Comes back to the butt, very, very good player. He raises it up to 127, yay who, and he has 392 in his stack. Okay, I don't want to mess around here. If that woman's going to call me with a garbage hand, it's going to be for a lot more chips. <laughs> and the other guy generally plays good cards, so he may have no choice but to call. I'm all in. All in. Six ninety. So the guy on the button had already cashed out for a $3,200 profit earlier in the day. I think he's never folding Queens Plus or Ace King. And here he goes. Good luck, man. You want to run it more than once or no? No, one time. Okay. You got Ace King? I got Ace. You got Aces? Oh, that's ugly. Just once. Oh, Oh. <laughs> oh golly! Wow! Uh, I had I got him covered. I had almost seven. Tough hand. All right, this is the very next hand, and I get pocket kings. Uh, there's an early raiser to fifteen dollars, and then this young kid who has a lot of chips makes it. 40 I believe comes back to me. I make it 140 the other player folds and now we pick it up on the video What's that? His king, his yeah, king. it was aces against kings. What's he gonna do? You can hear us talking about the last hand how he had no choice but to call with pocket kings there's $295 in the pot to a flop of five of diamonds, nine of clubs, two of clubs. Um, it goes check, check. I'm not so sure about this. The turn, six of hearts. Really don't like this that I checked again. I should be betting here. I showed weakness on the flop. I showed I might have ace king. Uh, I think I could have gotten some money. Uh, check, check. Uh, the river, three of spades. Uh, I do lead out for a small bet of $70 quarter pot, and he makes the call. Uh, I don't like how I play this at all. Pocket Kings, and got $140 in pre-flop, and then only made another for $70. Mm, not ideal again. All right, last hand. I didn't get this one recorded, so we're going to do share my pair. Uh, we're five-handed. I'm playing against a young guy named Jack. Plays very loose. Good guy. Fun guy. I'm playing against my buddy Brent. Dangerous player. Also plays pretty loose. And Brent, Jack, and I are playing the deuce to seven game for $20 a person. If you don't know what that is, that means if you win with deuce seven, and you get $20 from each of those other players. The other two guys in the hand are not playing this game with us. So not surprisingly, Jack raises it up pre-flop. He'd been doing that a lot. Brent calls. Now, I play the deuce to seven game a little bit more uh, unconventionally than others. I don't blast it pre-flop uh, because you can get in a lot of trouble that way, especially when we're playing $1,000 deep. Uh, the 15 bucks doesn't really mean a whole lot of the $40 I would win from those guys. So I play it unconventionally. I just make the call, and then I'm going to take a look at what happens uh, after we see a flop. So there's $48 in the pot, and the flop comes four of spades, seven of hearts, jack of diamonds. That is not a very good flop for his range. So when he leads out for $15 and Brent folds, I think this is a great time. I raise it up $45 and 
sticky old Jack, sticky young Jack, <laughs> makes the call. The turn is the five of clubs and Jack shows weakness by checking. I decide, you know what, I'm gonna continue this story and I bet 65 and Jack starts talking about, do you have do seven? Do you have do seven? You could have do seven here. <laughs> and he makes the call. Uh-oh, maybe I need some help on the river. The river is the eight of clubs making a six a straight, nine, 10 gets there. But when Jack checks there, I think he's not, he doesn't have either of those hands. I think, yeah, maybe I can win not only a really nice pot, but the extra $40 from these guys. So I go ahead and bet $185 into 268. I want it to look like it's value-y and Jack just goes in the tank. He keeps talking about, you could have two seven here, you could have two seven here. Would you do that with two seven? <laughs> and he talked about it for three minutes and eventually made the fold. Eventually he decided on the fold because he had seven ten. So he had a seven, there's a seven on the board. Chances I have a seven are not as good. Uh, so he made the fold. I showed him the cards and he said, oh my gosh, Mr. Bill, you're such a sick individual. <laughs> it was good fun, a good hand for me, and uh, a nice result. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Uh, a couple of things before we end this. Uh, number one, the hideaway in the Dallas area. Uh, owners Steve and Michelle are fantastic people. The dealers are great, the players are great. If you haven't checked out uh, the hideaway, uh, please do so, I guarantee you, you'll love it. And once again, thank you so much to Next Gen Poker for letting me use a little of their video for playing against you guys. You guys are great fun. I love to watch your videos. You're fun to play against. And with that, we're gonna end this. So please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And you guys have a fantastic, wonderful, and blessed week. And we'll see you next time. Bye.